सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम स्टिकलर थे सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आउट सो स्टिकलर द थीव वॉन्ट्स टू लूट मनी फ्रॉम अ सोसाइटी हैविंग एन हाउसेज इन अ सिंगल लाइन ही इज अ वियर्ड पर्सन एंड फॉलोज अ सर्टन रूल वेन लूटिंग द हाउसेज अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल ही विल नेवर लूट टू कंजिक्यूटिव हाउसेज एट द सेम टाइम ही वॉन्ट्स टू मैक्सिमाइज अमाउंट ही लूट्स The thief knows which houses has what amount of money, but is unable to come up with an optimal looting strategy. He asks for your help to find the maximum money he can get if he strictly follows the rule. ठीक है? For example, he will loot the houses, but he will never loot two consecutive houses together. And at the same time, he wants to maximize his money. So let's see how can we do this. For example. If the money in each of the houses are six five five seven four, he can loot the first house, the third house, and the fifth house. So, my answer is going to be fifteen, which is the sum of all of them. Okay. Similarly, if this case, then so one plus three is going to be four, and if he starts from the second house, okay, so he can pick this house, and in that case, our output is going to be five. Now the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n, and the expected space complexity for this is going to be order of n. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. Basically, we need to pick elements, okay, such that we never pick two consecutive elements, and at the same time we have to maximize the sum. So let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say my array is like this: six, five, five, seven, and four. And if we pick the first element. What happens? We have picked our first element for now. Let's say we pick this element. Okay. So, but when we have picked six, we can't pick five. Okay. So let's take some other variable also where we can store this. Okay. So let's say my sum one is going to be six, and my sum two is going to be five. Okay. So we are considering that sum one me, we are six pick kar rahe hain, and sum two me, we are Starting our iteration from here. Now, when we have picked six, for some one we can't pick five, but we can pick this five, right? So, let's add this five to our answer. Again, we can't pick this seven if we have picked this five, and we can pick this four. Okay. So this is one of the possibilities. Now, if for some two, if we have picked this five, we can't pick this five. Okay. And we can pick this seven, okay? So here, we have our sum twelve. Will come here. Here, we have our fifteen. Will come. But one thing, if you observe, it was not necessary that for this six, we only pick this five. We could have picked this seven, okay? So we are having some combinations here, which is possible. So in case of combination problem, we are having some combinations here, which is possible. So in case of combination problem, we are having some combinations here, which is possible. So in case of combination problem, we are having some combinations here, which is possible. So in case of combination problem, we are having some combinations here, which is possible. So in case of This is our array, right? Now, since we can consider the length of the array to be n, we can make a DP array of size n. Okay, and at each of the index, what this DP of i represent? It will represent the maximum we can pick till that point, right? So let's say we Do a bottom-up approach. So DP of zero is going to be what? At this index, we have only one option. Either we can pick this six or we don't pick this six. So what is the maximum among that? Okay. So basically, max of zero and array of zero. ये क्या होगा हमारा? That will be nothing but array of zero itself, right? Because the numbers are anyway is going to be positive. Okay. Because it's the amount. So we can directly assign DP of zero to array of zero, right? Now, what is going to be my DP of one? That will be nothing but when we are at this index, we have two options: either to pick this or to pick this, right? So let's say we pick max of six comma five. So that will be nothing but six. Okay. So let's do one thing: we write the DP array side by side as well. So at the zeroth index, we have are having six. At the first index, we are having six. Okay. Now, when we come to this index, I know we can't pick adjacent elements together, right? 
सो वट वी कैन डू आइदर वी कैन पिक दिस एलिमेंट और वी कांट पिक दिस एलिमेंट ठीक है दीज टू ऑप्शन वी आर ऑलवेज हैविंग इन अप सेक काइंड ऑफ डी पी ठीक है सो इफ वी पिक दिस एलिमेंट देन वॉट हैपन्स वी कांट पिक दिस एलिमेंट राइट सो फॉर दैट वॉट वी कैन डू सो फॉर एनी आई वॉट हैपन्स आइदर पिक वी पिक दैट एलिमेंट सो इफ वी पिक दैट एलिमेंट वी कैन एड एरे ऑफ आई प्लस डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस टू बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स कि अगर हम लोग यहाँ पे होंगे ठीक है सो वेन वी इंक्लूड दिस एलिमेंट हमें नहीं पता डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन पे क्या है ठीक है आइदर इट कैन हैपन कि डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन पे ये एलिमेंट हो सकता है ठीक है जैसा कि तुमने लेट से यहाँ पे हमारे पास सिक्स कॉमा सेवन होता ठीक है तो हमारा डी पी ऑफ वन क्या होता है सेवन होता राइट सो वेन वी आर अलाउड टू पिक दिस सेवन और दिस फाइव वी कांट पिक दिस सेवन ठीक है सो वी विल एक्सक्लूड दैट केस एंड वी विल कंसिडर द डी पी टू आई माइनस टू एथ पोजिशन ओनली ठीक है तो इससे क्या होगा हमारा डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन का जो इंक्लूजन था वो खत्म हो गया इस ऑप्शन में अदरवाइज वॉट हैपन्स इफ वी कांट पिक दिस एलिमेंट वी कैन पिक दिस एलिमेंट राइट सो डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन तक जो भी रहा होगा हमारा सम वी कैन पिक डैट अप एंड इन दिस वे वी कैन फिल आवर आंसर सो लेट्स फिल डैट फॉर अदर इंडाइस एज वेल सो लेट्स से आवर ओरिजिनल एरे वॉज नथिंग बट सिक्स फाइव फाइव सेवन एंड फोर ठीक है तो यहाँ तक हमारा मैक्सिमम सिक्स था नाउ एट दिस पोजिशन ऑफ टाइम आई दर यू कैन पिक दिस एलिमेंट एंड एट दिस टू आवर सम सो सिक्स प्लस फाइव इज गोइंग टू बी एलेवन और यू कैन पिक द मैक्सिमम ऑफ एलेवन कॉमा सिक्स सो वी पिक दिस राइट नाउ वेन वी आर एट थर्ड इंडेक्स वॉट हैपन्स आई दर वी कैन पिक दिस एलिमेंट when we pick this element we have to take the sum till this position only so we do that okay so 13 and 11 tak ka maximum kya hoga 13 hoga hai na now when we are at this position we can't pick the sum at this position right because i don't want ki adjacent elements hamare paas aaye so we can pick this 11 right so 11 plus 4 is going to be 15 and my sum till this position is going to be 13 we pick the maximum of both of them we are having 15 here right so in the end what happens we get our answer it is stored at nothing but dp of n minus 1 so the last position of the dp vector is going to be your answer so i hope you have understood the problem the time complexity for this is going to be order of n and the space complexity since we are using a dp array of size n The space complexity is going to be nothing but order of n. ठीक है So what we did, basically, let's say हमारा array कुछ ऐसा था ठीक है Initially क्या हुआ यहाँ पे obviously एक option है तो six यहाँ पे हमने put कर दिया Next time हमारे पास दो option है either we can pick this, either we can pick this. So we included six. Now when we are at this position, when we are picking it, I know कि हमारा last position पे ठीक है ये वाला element हो सकता है and we don't have to pick adjacent elements so we pick the sum till dp of i minus 2 theek hai dp of i minus 2 and when we are picking that we get array of i otherwise what we can do since we are not including this elements so i know ki aage wale elements ke liye ye to nahi rahega answer mein hai na so i can surely pick dp of i minus 1 theek hai so that is going to be your answer and i hope you have understood the explanation let's see the implementation so basically we will be taking a dp array and we will be initializing it with zero now dp of zero is going to be array of zero because we have only one option dp of one is going to be maximum of array of zero or array of one because we can start our iteration from either zeroth index or first index theek hai we have two options there now we will be running a for loop theek hai for int i equal to 2 i less than n i plus plus and dp of i will be nothing but maximum of array of i plus dp of i minus 2 or dp of i minus 1 as i told you in the explanation part and in the end our answer will be stored at n minus 1th index so we can return from here theek okay? hai so i hope you have understood the explanation as well as the 
implementation if you have any doubts write it down in the comments do like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys